Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. And today I just want to talk about what I have observed early on with the uh, Memphis Tigers, you know, men's basketball program. Just given the fact that you know, they pretty much, you know, started playing. You know, I know, I know these games don't come as exhibition games, but just from an observation standpoint, early observation standpoint of this team, man, it looked like it's pretty good. There was no high properly. It's just like it's a really good team. I'm liking what I'm seeing with this team. And all the games, the games that I watched, the footage that I watched with the, uh, you know, on YouTube with the Dominican, facing those Dominican teams from the Dominican Republic, I like what I see, you know. I like the way the ball moves. I like it. I like the fact that this team, I, I believe this team got to have multiple scores on it. They have multiple guys that they can put the ball, um, put the, hand, the ball into their hands, and they can do something with it. I like that. Jaquan Walton haven't even been with the team <laughs> a month. Dude dropped 27 points in that uh, 105-98 victory over uh, the other team from the Dominican Republic in the second game, overtime victory. 27 points in that matchup. So, huge performance, man. Um, you know, the, the freshmen look like they're doing pretty well. Uh, Jane, not Jane Hardaway, but uh, Ashton Hardaway looks great. Carl Shanfant looks great, man. I'm excited for what those guys can do with this program this season, man. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they make a roster change, man, because everybody's everybody's projected top five, including mine. That's in a, in a perfect world. If DeAndre Williams come back, it'll be um, Quinley at the um, one, Mills at the two, David Jones at the three. Hopefully that stuff goes through. <laughs> um, DeAndre Williams at the four, and John Brown at the, uh, at the five. Now, they, with these guys, the way they're performing, man, that may have changed. So we'll just see how that's going to play out. And, you know, it's still up in the air on what DeAndre Williams does. You know what I'm saying? It's still up in the air. And hopefully, man, this man can come back to the program. You know, and it looks like I'm not just, I'm not trying to show shade or anything like that, but it looks like Memphis could be just fine without him. And that's what it looks like. But it's always great to have that type of presence on your team like a DeAndre Williams. John Brown, I know people will say that, you know, I'm here I'm reading some comments online about him being out of shape and all that, but he's going to be fine. And the game, the second game, the overtime win, he looked like he was fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had 14 points in that game. 14 points in that game. I believe Jaden had 13, if I'm not mistaken. Ashton had um, 8 points, if I'm not mistaken. 8 points. Sheriff friend chapter chipped in. Jaquan Walton looked like he's a, a scorer, a knockdown guy that can knock down shots for you. Caleb Mills can look like he put up some points for you. So that's what I'm liking so far. From, that's my only observation of this program right now, man. I like that the, the team has, you know, multiple guys that can get involved, man. Multiple, multiple guys that can get involved and put up points for you, that can get you buckets. Because... We've seen in, in previous years, you know, how things used to run with Memphis basketball where in games they get they go through these they go through these gaps, these periods where these laws where they struggle to come up with points. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it before in the past where they just they just cannot get buckets, man. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully that can change this year, based on what I'm seeing. You know, they've done Pretty well, man. Because they won the day's game. They almost won that uh that first game they played. They look a little rusty, but the, to me, to only lose by seven points, that's that's commendable. And that overtime victory, they showed up in that. That's awesome. You know, so give them I give them credit for that. And I'm glad that they're doing this. They're they're playing in exhibition games. I'm glad they're doing it because. It gives the team an opportunity to ramp up, to figure out themselves, figure out how each other plays, 
give Penny Hardaway some new ideas and what what could possibly happen. You know, he could make some additional changes to the roster or his projected start starting five. And that's why that's and that's why I'm glad that they they're playing in exhibition games. I'm glad that there were no serious injuries. I heard that um Mills set out, I believe, one of those games. I think it was today and it, I think it was today and um the other matchup, the one that uh, they won in overtime. I believe uh, Ashton played, not Ashton, but uh, Jane Hardaway played to step in his place. So I'm glad that um, there wasn't no serious injuries, man. There's nothing out there that can come in and, like, an injury could, could occur in, like, the rest of the season for this team. So one of these guys go down. But, I mean, yeah. But, well, also what I heard about is uh, Malcolm Dandridge possibly coming back into the fold. That's never out of. That's not out of. Uh, it's not out of, uh, out of the realm of possibility. I know he went on. The, he got in the portal and visited St. Louis. Um, they he visited Michigan as well. He comes back. That gives you that size that you're looking for. Gives you that rim protector. Does he start over um, Jordan Brown? Possibly. We don't know. I don't think. I'm not. I'm, I don't know if Dandridge is, is the scoring option that Jordan Brown is. You know, that's just something to think about. This is just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, they, they look good, man. I like what I see with the team so far, man. I like what I see, man. And I do agree. You know, if DeAndre Williams come back, I don't think they're 20. People say that they're, if he comes back, he, they're like a 25-ish, 20 team. I don't know. I think he's more like. I think they're more like a top fifteen, bro. This is not me exaggerating. I'm just being real. What it is, man. The team. This might be Penny Hardaway's best roster, man. Best roster. This might be the roster that actually lives up to the hype. You know, saying of one all the smoke, like they did in 2019. This could be his best roster that lives up to the hype. Now, I know last year, a lot of people wasn't big on that team, but that was a really good team, bro. That was a really good team, given the circumstances that was at hand at the, last year. That was a really good team, in my opinion. He won, that, team, that team won the, uh, the conference championship, you know. It was unfortunate what happened to them and, uh, against FAU, but that team won the conference championship. But this team has the opportunity to do something special, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be – I mean – he might, even if Williams does not come back, I think that's a chance of them still probably being ranked, you know, in, the, in, the, in the, um, the poll when it comes out. But like what I see so far, man, um, just from my observation standpoint, just like what I see, movement, guys working together, guys, you know, work some cohesion, you know, among the players, you know what I'm saying? Not, not hearing a lot of, you know, chatter about, players not being, you know, happy with their role or, you know, players, parents getting involved, you know, like the, the minor base situation. You're not hearing none of that, man. You're hearing guys working together, you know, second to fight, sacrificing, you know, certain, you know, privileges, you know, certain things about that game that they like that to bet for the betterment of the team. That's what I'm liking. That's what I'm seeing so far, man. And I'm looking forward to um, kicking kick it off, man, because the off season, <laughs> the off season's just been going on and on for Memphis, man. It's just been going on and on, man, with dudes in the transfer, getting Penny Hardaway, getting dudes in the transfer portal, having to rebuild a, an entire roster. Got you got one dude coming back, man. One dude coming back from that team, Jane Hardaway. And you might have two more if um, Dangerous comes back and if DeAndre Williams comes back. But right now, you got one dude from that team. That's an entirely different roster, bro. And this might be a better roster than last year. And I thought last year's roster was dope. This is my, my opinion, my opinion, man. That was a really good team, bro. I really enjoyed covering that team last season. You know, but we'll see how it play out, man. Um. We not we in August right we in August right now you know I know football is about to turn up and all that you know Memphis football turning up and some real soon but you got September short month October man you right there it's right there basketball kicks off around late 
October, man, is right there. You know, so we just got to look, just get ready for it, you know. All right, so that's you off right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How do you, what are your observations, your early observations of Memphis basketball so far, given the fact that it played in um, three exhibition games? Also, check out StrikeSellingSports.com. Play its content on NFL, the NBA, Memphis Tigers, football and basketball content, along with the Grizzlies. The same video will be posted on the Strike Sports website. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.